and that's just what he did in the frame that he lost. The second frame that he lost in frame two. Nothing wrong with O'Sullivan's long game today. Look at that. Six. Seven. He'd like to come down and take that right off the black spot. Not by the black. We'll go back onto its spot. Thirteen. But it's amazing the other <clears throat> twenty eight. Twenty nine. Chance to play the cannon to that loose red. And right there, that leaves him on the other one. And this time he might just open the reds. And play it for the blue. 37. Yes, just nudged another couple out. It's been impressive the way O'Sullivan has been bouncing back from the disappointments he's had in this match so far, losing that second frame, which he should have won, didn't phase him, and this is another excellent response to losing the fifth. 43. Superb long red. Is it going to be a frame winner? the pink going at the back of this pack of reds there it's just spoiled that red at the Thank back you. it would 49. have gone to the middle before so I may play for the blue this time 50 easier to go into the reds from the blue than the black Has he been fortunate? I think he can pop 55. this red to the right corner. Fifty-six. And is he on the pink? He's on the black, if not. It's a little bit tight, perhaps. I wasn't sure. But it went in at the right speed. Any harder, maybe it would have stayed out. 64. That's six 50 plus breaks now from O'Sullivan in this match. Well, he was disgusted with that shot, but just needs the blue. Crowd know that was the ball that leaves Mark Selby requiring a snooker. 69. So Selby stopping the rot in the fifth frame, but it looks like he's got it all to do again now. And he certainly has with the disappearance of that red. 70. O'Sullivan's highest break of the match. And a few more to come, I fancy. And again, he's potting these balls at a blistering pace. 
77. Frames just come and go so quickly when he's in full float. 78. He hasn't lost anything since he's been away, Joe. He looks in superb form, doesn't he? It looks like the brake's done him good, actually. As you say, he made six, seven centuries in the Champions League. 86. Winning his group, one every match to qualify for the final. And of course, performing behind closed doors at Crondon Park in Brentwood is a very 92. different tale to doing it in front of a capacity crowd at the Alexandra Palace, but it's making no difference to O'Sullivan. 93. Brilliant stuff. Just a small matter of 805 centuries now. An even century from Ronnie O'Sullivan. Sheer brilliance from Rocket Ronnie to restore that two-frame advantage and move to within two frames of another Masters semi-final. Mark Selby has it all to do now. O'Sullivan continuing to boss this match and leading by four frames to two. He needs just two more for a place in the last four at Ali Pali.